I um, I know a lot of these videos are kind of not the type of things that you would want me to, I guess, bring up or talk about. But honestly, I can't help but to sometimes vent when it comes to life and things because I just don't know what to do in certain situations and a lot of moments, especially at the current point in time. And I just need to, I guess, put my feelings out there and kind of just say what's on my mind. And I know for new people and possibly people that, you know, kind of skips out on these videos, you guys don't really like hearing it because obviously it's always the same kind of thing. And it's pretty much me bitching and whining and complaining about the situation that I'm currently in. And unfortunately, it just is what it is. There ain't really any other, at really any opportunity I can take at the moment that I know of that will probably get me out of here. But it is what it is, and you know, I just need to necessarily, you know, let things out. But before I really get into it, uh, essentially, I first want to just say that no matter pretty much what situation I'm thrown into and chucked into and whatever. I definitely want to say that I am extremely proud of the community that we have here. The Kohai base has been honestly amazing and honestly I really enjoy all you guys coming through and you know listening to some southern black man because again a lot of people didn't know I was from the south which is insane to me. I mean do you not hear sometimes the southernness in my voice? And then again, they said, I think sudden accents, slight sudden accents are some of the sexiest accents out there. So, you know, it, it is going to be easy and getting me some coup one of these damn days. But, you know, outside of that, obviously, um, I do have to say that I am a, extremely a proud of the community that we have here. And to be perfectly honest, I wouldn't ask for a better community. I really wouldn't. I know we're small at the moment and if you know time allows definitely we're probably gonna have a lot more people it's gonna be harder to keep track of a lot of people and you know it's gonna be a little bit rougher but definitely when it comes down to things i do enjoy every single person that's here and that is willing to stick around with my crazy ass antics and with you know how things are so definitely i do appreciate that and with that honestly you guys obviously accept me for the weirdness and stuff and it makes me realize slowly that I don't necessarily need the approval and friendship I guess I guess I could say of like top other content creators and youtubers and whatever because at this point I kind of just don't care and while it will be nice if I had it you know like being friends with some of the youtubers I look up to or at least really like you know, it would be nice if I had that, but do I absolutely need it? I don't necessarily feel like I do anymore. And it's not saying that, like, yo, I'm better than them, but it's just, like, I don't necessarily need it because, you know, I got you guys and I don't necessarily really need, like, a top person's approval. Like, I feel like I'd be here by myself and, you know, it'd be fine, honestly. Much less, I have a group of friends that, you know, makes me feel like I exist and feel like I belong and not feel like a ghost a lot of the time so you know it's honestly welcomed and it's a new type of feeling that I'm still trying to process and understand because I never really felt this way but it's honestly something that is deeply appreciated and I couldn't be more thankful enough so you know just you guys being here even if this isn't the type of video that you normally like to listen to or watch you, just you being here honestly still supporting me or just being around just to listen it's honestly it means a lot now obviously when it comes to the situation that i'm currently dealing with with the irl stuff y'all already know and especially if you don't know if you're someone new and you don't know what's really going on it's a whole money situation now i know a lot of people the moment you hear that the moment people hear that, especially among indie VTubers and VTubers alike, the moment you hear that, that just makes people turn their nose at you and then, you know, not really want to hear anymore that you got to say because, you know, that's just like the one thing that people just do not necessarily like to hear. 
much less a lot of people believe that if you become a content creator, you're not supposed to do it for the money. Which, in a way, if you're going to be greedy about money and stuff like that, then sure, absolutely, you shouldn't. But when it comes to, you know, actually trying to start living on your own and, you know, wanting to absolutely escape the situation that you're in and do better about your life, then that's a whole different reason, honestly. And it gets kind of, I would say, I guess crazy in some shape and form to the fact that people do not accept you because, oh, that's the one thing you're fighting for. When it's not necessarily the thing that personally I'm fighting for, but it's one of the things I need to survive so hopefully things get better. Because I was hoping, at least at this year, that I would like to move out the house and try to stream. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen because I don't think that's just within the cards. And, you know, nothing's really going on majorly to increase the odds and chances of that happening. And as much as I would like to stream, honestly, or at least give it a try, it's just not possible at the moment, unfortunately. So, you know, maybe next year we can try again and then maybe something that will happen, you know, and, you know, maybe things could be taken care of. But at the current moment in time, you know, nothing is necessarily happening and it's just been really rough again before you know i say anything crazy you know i'm grateful for the patreon people patreon people has been a big help even though i really need to do better by them because i hardly put anything up there because i don't know what to put up there and you know i really should again do better by them because they don't have to necessarily support or try to show some type of you know support in that way they don't but they do it anyway and it's really really helpful and you know one of the things again that I just don't necessarily want to deal with or at least when it comes to this whole YouTube thing is that the whole money thing I know this sounds like some BS and I know this sounds like something that you know yeah like a yeah sure situation but honestly even as a kid I never really genuinely personally cared about wanting to have money like that ever since i kind of realized that money kind of makes people go insane and you know do a bunch of evil things i never wanted to have like a lot of it but then when life has like throw a lot of stuff at you and there's not really necessarily much you can do about it much less money is how people survive on this planet it makes me kind of have to fight for it unfortunately because again, I'd rather just give a lot of that up to like a lot of other people and help them out who is probably in a way worse situation than I am. And, you know, wish I could just be like be some type of pillar that people can lean on. Not like to the extent where people can always just depend on me for stuff and whatever, but only the type of people that is like willing to help themselves and be better but for themselves, you know? And there's not a lot of people that will take it seriously to try to change themselves for the better. And, you know, that, that I want to be that type of person. Just try to help out people to the point, you know, they can get somewhere and, you know, really take their life seriously and try to mold their life in their own hands and shape their own future. Essentially, that's what I will hopefully would like to be in the future one of these damn days. But at the moment, it's just not happening. And, and honestly, it's just annoying to kind of low-key just talk about a lot of this because when it comes down to a lot of things, I know a lot of you guys don't necessarily, again, want to hear this type of stuff, but it is what it is, unfortunately. That is the kind of the package that you get. And the, I think the major reason why I hate hearing people talk about money all the time or talk about it and then complain about it 100% and even if it's not their, you know, responsibility of, of what's happening in their situation, I really just don't like it because, unfortunately, it just has a very unfortunate tangent of just keep, you know, pestering of people, I would say. Because when it comes down to things, if I'm being perfectly honest, every time I wake up, every time I go through my day, Someone that I know always mentions the green stuff, always mention the money, always mention not having something or always mention not, you know, being able to do anything. 
and it's so annoying like i wish people would just stop saying the word for like a whole solid day but they won't and it's just really annoying i just don't want to necessarily hear it and it goes on for so long to the point that it even makes me not necessarily be able to do the things i really want to do like a lot of these videos do you really think i want to just leave them unedited you really think i just want to make these type of videos like this you think i just want to you know try not to improve my editing skills at all no i would absolutely love to improve my editing skills make edited videos for you not do you know audio only videos with maybe just a few pictures splash between if any at all because you know y'all don't deserve this if i'm being perfectly honest y'all deserve actual good content you deserve you know things that is not this but when I keep hearing things about it, it just affects me in a way to the point I don't necessarily know if I would want to do any editing or anything like that. Because at the same time, it kind of made me feel like, you know, is it mattering? Like, does it matter at the end of the day? And it sucks. And this is partially the reason why... Actually, no, it is the reason why I stopped drawing kind of a lot and cut back on it a ton. Outside of obviously doing YouTube videos because obviously, you know, the grind doesn't stop and, you know, it makes me reevaluate my timing when it comes to making videos and making art pieces. But when it comes down to things, especially with Kokatsu now, because that kind of is a mix of things that, you know, take up all my time, honestly. But when it comes down to things, I, I don't really draw a lot as I used to. And while, yes, I do have a drawing tablet now and trying to get back into it it's already affecting me again because in my brain i'm thinking while i'm drawing maybe this nice picture of ochako about to you know maybe give it some lewd elements and stuff but in the back of my brain and it always comes to the surface and it's always been like this it's like oh i see you're drawing that's pretty nice how is this making you any money though how is this making you any type of cash though how is this helping you in your current situation? You mean you're telling me you're taking time to draw when you could be trying to, you know, do other things that potentially get you money quicker? Like, how, 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 how do you, how do you operate, man? Like, well, why, why are you so focused on doing anything that is not helping you benefit right now? And it's so frustrating to hear thoughts like that in my head because it's just like, can I just have time and moments of peace, honestly? Because at this point, I don't even have the time to do things anymore because I'm always helping someone else and being pretty much a servant to other people. When it's at the same time, it's like, when am I going to get some serving done for me? When is someone going to serve me? And, not, and I, again, I'm not saying this like in an asshole way. I'm just saying it like in a way because it's just like constantly I've been like, you know, doing things for other people and doing things I really don't want to do, like working with my dad personally which is still a thing that's happening at the moment, which absolutely sucks because, you know, it's not necessarily doing anything. But I just hate being put in that situation where I just have to serve people and I don't really get a choice in it because, you know, it's just what it is. And I wish it wasn't what it is. I wish I actually had a choice and for once I actually could control the narrative. And, you know, that's partially the reason why I even wanted to become, or at least do YouTube in a way, is because I don't want anybody trying to tell me what I can and cannot do, much less I just want to be free in some shape and form. I don't necessarily know how, but I just want to be free in a way. And when it comes down to things, honestly, I just want to do, I guess, more than just survive at this point, because that's all what my life has been, unfortunately. because. For the 20 years I have, 20 plus years I should say at this point, I've been alive. All our family kind of knew is just not having anything, not knowing any type of financial freedom, not having, you know, to worry about where's the paycheck coming from or where's the next, you know, man money for the next month coming through so we can pay the bills on time. And it's honestly really annoying. And I wish for once, we actually had a strategy or some type of, you know, funds like left over to actually, you know, put it towards something smart. Maybe like, I don't know, some type of good investment or some type of stock. But we never got into anything like that. And that's kind of 
low key why we got put in this position as it is do also with added troubles aside like things but you know i wish we had some funds left over so we could try maybe like stop marketing and stuff i know it's not perfect and not an ideal situation but who knows it might have a good payoff at the end of it but when it comes down to things honestly it just really frustrating and then it affects the craft like y'all know the kokatsu story that has been not up for three weeks it should have been got up by now but unfortunately i just don't want to make it a crappy product of what it's supposed to be and because a lot because i'm not gonna say a lot a few of those recordings i sound really dead and don't really care about life anymore at that at that point in some of those videos and it really sucks because you know when i make the kokatsu story it's a story about the cell it's really supposed to be a celebration of all the good things in fictional media honestly for me it's like the smash brothers of you know this youtube series and i want to make it really good and really special and memorable for a lot of you but unfortunately because of those thoughts that keep kind of coming through in my head in the worst possible way it makes me not necessarily want to record mainly not because i don't want to do it it's mainly because i don't want to sound like these irl situations and affecting and things are just affecting me and it affects the recording to the point i just don't want to record anymore and that's probably the worst place i've been because i have been in that place at least once and there just was a time where i just didn't want to necessarily record or do anything and it absolutely sucked because you know this is one of the things that i think to me at least it's fun it's fun to actually nice to you know voice your opinion while being judged for it well too much because you know it's the internet so people are always going to judge you but still Nonetheless, it, it feels nice to actually voice an opinion without anybody trying to whoop your ass for like three seconds or try to or try to disregard what you said, even though you're right in a certain situation, but still disregard it anyway and just do the dumb thing. It just it's just nice. And again, when it comes to this thoughts that comes to my head, I just don't want to necessarily give you a half baked product. So that's pretty much the big reason why Kukatsu's story hasn't even came back yet. It's coming. Pause but it's just not necessarily on the way just yet i still have act three that i gotta do but depending on how long they read pretty much i get to it which hopefully i can try to take some of it down soon um hopefully we'll have the next episode episode 19 out one of these days but again i just want to be in a good mood while i'm actually recording but finding a good mood is kind of hard these days because you know everything rolling back to money and at this point it hurts really badly because it's affecting my time and your time is the one thing that's way more valuable than money at all because when it comes to your time obviously you can't get that back sure you might be able to regain something you know and multiply it mu much more maybe in the future if something goes correct and certain things are allowed but you can't get your time back and that's the one thing I want to try to avoid. My family, again, has been at this for 20 years of struggling. And within those 20 years, I would at least believe and like to hope that someone had some type of plan from this situation that we're in. But no one has anything. And essentially, it kind of falls onto my shoulders, which absolutely suck. So I have to kind of try to do everything myself and see what happens. And it's unfortunate. It, it really is and at this point i'm kind of just at a place where i just don't know what to do and it's kind of the reason why i'm impatient about things and i remember my mom just asking me this like yesterday talking about why i was impatient to do things essentially it's because we had literally 20 years on this planet well more y'all had more than 20 years and then still we're in the same damn situation and for what like at this point what are we fighting for and anytime we do go basically out to work with my own father, essentially and in the time that we do it, it's just to make bills and ends meet, honestly, for the next month. And then we got to get scared about the next month after that because, oh my gosh, we don't have the money for it. And it absolutely is annoying and it absolutely sucks. Why only fight just to make ends meet and just to pay bills when we could be trying to fight for something even better, a better life than this? 
but it's but everybody only just sees the short-sighted goals of things and it's never the long term for people and it's so frustrating like honestly i know it sounds crazy and it might sound a little selfish but i don't want to just live this life and then just die not being remembered by a lot of people in a way you know i want to be remembered by a lot of people i want to try to affect a, a lot of lives and try to do good by it you know i don't want to just sit here in one of these southern states and pretty much just be like you know this is where i'm at and this is all i'm gonna be no i would like to actually try to help and change you know as much as the world as i possibly can but it's just not the opportunity just hasn't been you know presenting itself when it comes down to pretty much all of this at this point at this point if i if you are going through this situation and you're going through maybe something similar to what i am at this point all i'm gonna say is that you just need to not worry about it because honestly if you're like stuck in a position and you can't do anything about it why worry about it and if it's been like this way for years or a long time don't there is no real reason to even worry about it and to be perfectly honest you shouldn't just take and accept anything that is given to you because oh it's there you know you should try to you know figure out a way and you know figure out a good way to get out of your situation for good and pretty much try to survive not just because oh you gotta pay for you know whatever or you gotta just do something to just keep yourself temporarily afloat every single time you should try to find a way to get out of it and then you know beat the game of survival and then start get to the game of living essentially because again you only have a limited time amount on this earth and essentially you don't want to just spend your entire existence just surviving why not live why not you know broaden your horizons in a way you know it, it just is what it is again i just don't necessarily like accepting things for what it is if it's been this way for years do you think i'm just gonna sit here and just say well this is how it's been for years so this is my life now not absolutely true i'm just gonna try to do my best to try to find a way out of it and do way more than just survive because you know there's more to life than just doing the bare minimum and, it be, and it's absolutely shitty that a lot of people just accept the bare minimum and not try to be anything else honestly and i wish more people were trying to be a lot more than you know what we currently are and honestly, I know this might get off on topic a little bit, but you know why, honestly, I like Sonic the Hedgehog so much? Or at least why I'm my character is so damn blue all the time and so inspired by him? It's mainly because the man knows how to be free and not let anything really consume him. That's the main thing about Sonic that I absolutely like and why I considered him my childhood role model, honestly. It's because he didn't really care about a lot of things and he just wanted to be free and run like the wind essentially. And that's the kind of attitude I kind of want to start having and trying to have at this current point in time. If there ain't nothing you can do about it, then don't necessarily worry about it. Even if it's money and maybe you don't know how to pay your bills next month, don't necessarily worry about it too much. We'll always, if you find a way before, you'll probably find another way again. And that's just kind of my viewing points honestly when it comes down to things it, it really is because a lot of again a lot of the time there ain't nothing you can necessarily do for some situations so you might as well not care about it and just try to live your life the best way you possibly can and when it comes down to things especially if you're someone that complains a lot don't necessarily complain about something that you've been stuck in for so many years and so much time because you're just going to keep complaining over and over again until the end of time honestly but the only people i would say that should have the right to complain is the people that has the ability or the will to change things and my ass definitely wants to have the will to change things and especially considering that uh, so many other people said that I have the potential to become a good YouTuber and stuff. I definitely want to see that potential and take it and then run with it, honestly. Because, you know, if you say it's there, then I'm going to try to do everything in my power to make sure it happens. Because why not, though? Because, you know, if I don't do it, no one really else is going to do it. And then that's just going to be it. So I want to take that potential and just run with it. And then just see what happens, honestly. And that's the type of mentality I'm trying to just go for. 
I just want to do things and try to get my own way and have my own happiness while also not really caring about those small problems or any type of thing that's really not necessarily need to be cared for. And that's just how my viewpoint is at this current point in time. And that's pretty much, I would say, the message I would want you guys to understand and try to follow yourself. If you have a problem or any type of issue that you're just currently dealing with and constantly deal with, don't necessarily worry about it. Yes, it has to get handled at some point in time. However, if it's just a constant issue that won't go away, don't necessarily try to stress over it and don't necessarily try to worry about it. I know it's harder to just do it instead of saying it because you can't just magically make someone unstressed and not worry about their problem. But at the same time, you just gotta try to apply it the best way you can into your life. Trust me, I know. But, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta take care of yourself and you are the only person that really matters. So when it comes down to things, you just gotta do what you gotta do, honestly, and just try to make it the way you can. Again, I know these type of videos are, you know, the ones that people usually skip and try not to necessarily listen to, but I'm making this video not only just for me to vent, but also hopefully for you guys to maybe, you know, understand where, the, where I'm coming from in all this and maybe, you know, use the part of not necessarily worrying too much about your problems too much, you know and use that to apply to your daily life maybe because you're stressing out maybe a little bit too much yourself and you know maybe you just want to kind of let go and just relax a little bit and maybe you should try to take care better care of yourself honestly because ever since i took that trip to tennessee with a friend and his family and ever since i've seen the beauty of nature and how the world is potentially I've always wanted to go back. I always wanted to go back and be claiming that this, this relaxingness, this vibe of just straight up easiness, this is what I want to feel. That is what I want to feel as I was staring out the balcony and, you know, looking at the nature of life around me as well without worrying about, you know, where's the bill money coming from and where all this other stuff is coming from. I didn't worry about that for a second because it was absolutely amazing honestly and then you get in the jacuzzi with the homies for the first time in my life you ever getting in a jacuzzi that junk was mad relaxing low-key want another jacuzzi experience maybe we'll do a video with it but definitely when it comes down to things i would like to have that feeling of realization again and kind of just live in that purpose honestly and especially when i went to my first anime convention that same week it was amazing kind of forgot about the world for a second and all the messed up nonsense that I'm dealing with honestly and just really enjoyed the stuff that I really enjoy the most and it's so wonderful to feel that way and I want those feelings back and I want to experience those things even more hell maybe if I do even get to blow up one day I would love to get invited to one of my hometown conventions just to be there just to see you know how things would go and just to feel that same vibe again Really, just know what you're trying to fight for and just try to aim at it. And hopefully, you know, things will work out for you, honestly. Because miracles and blessings can happen. Don't act like it can't. Look at Alice now from where she was before and from what we knew. She didn't really, while she did have a lot of people following her, it wasn't always, in, at least in my opinion, enough. Look at where she's at now. The girl about to hit 10k before the month is over with girl absolutely deserves it 100% after all the stuff that she been through yes this is the run I want to see Alice continue on 100% it's perfect it's nice for her I'm glad she honestly is having this and you know while it is some adjusting to deal with because even if she's just like okay this is a lot of people coming in at one time and I don't know why but 100% you know it, it's something that's welcome honestly I feel like 100% hopefully that she does feel grateful for the people that is coming in regardless of how they are coming in and just appreciates and accepts it honestly hopefully she can understand that and hopefully she does understand that and you know that's kind of what I want to aim for and have that as well kind of be happy with a lot of people potentially knowing who I am and potentially you know experiencing the co-high base as well as myself included the student council president and 
you know, that's the one thing I want to see in the future. Hopefully. But just to pretty much wrap this video up, because I know this is getting super long for no reason. Essentially, if again, you're going through troubles, pretty much don't worry about it. And if you're trying to fight for a future that you want, definitely take control of your narrative and try to fight for what you want. Because at the end of the day, again, it's really coming down to you and you are the only person that truthfully matter. And that's just really how it is, honestly. At least that's how I view things myself. I try not to care too much anymore, much less I try to, you know, when it comes to YouTube, do this and just only solely think about this and fully and solely focus on this because this is what I like and this is what I want to do for a very long time and go full time with it, honestly. And again, I know a lot of people probably won't watch this video because it's super long, but 100% who knows maybe this video might do well maybe someone will come through with a lot of money to actually be able to help me out maybe some crazy sponsor or some crazy top of the line youtuber or whoever may have something even a vtuber agency who knows i could get picked up by an agency and something cool could happen and you know it is what it is but definitely when it comes down to things you know definitely take care of yourself be the best you that you could possibly be and just keep doing a good job and that's essentially what it comes down to so you know it, it, you just gotta do what you gotta do but yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to say for this video again patreon it is a thing that you can if you want to deal with honestly if you would like to become a patreon member then absolutely become that if you really just have the funds and if you really really want to and if you really would like to help me out this situation it'll be nice and when it comes down to things you can also you know follow me on twitter if you would like to just chat or dm me feel free because maybe i can try to help you if you are feeling down in some type of way granted i'm not really a therapist because obviously i can't take on everybody's problem but you know, if you want to chat about small things, lewd things if you want to, then please feel free to hit me up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you did enjoy and hopefully you did get something out of this one. And until then, it's your boy Jay, signing off. Have a blessed day.